uh, let's see today METS and METEMS theta. So the statement is here, assume that summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n converges absolutely and has some a and summation n equal to 0 to infinity b n converges with the sum b. Then the Cauchy product of the two series that is summation a n and summation b n also converges whose sum is a b. This we have to find Cauchy product as the sum a b. So for that first you have to define a n is equal to summation k equal to 0 to n a k and b n equal to summation k equal to 0 to n b k c n equal to summation k equal to 0 to n c k. Remember this is the Cauchy product so that we can write the ck okay it is of the form the cauchy product summation k equal to 0 to n a k b n minus k right so this is the cauchy product these two series are given so a n and b n the partial sum you took now let it be d n equal to b minus b n and you have to choose e n equal to summation k equal to 0 to n a k d n minus k right so what about cp cp is equal to summation n equal to 0 to p and summation k equal to 0 to n a k b n minus k remember this one cp so here you can see that c n equal to what k equal to 0 to n c k so if it is cp which is equal to summation n equal to 0 to p c uh, k right so that ck is this form that is this is the uh, form k equal to in this place you have to substitute this one okay k equal to 0 to n a k b n minus k now what we are going to do is just interchange this one summation n equal to 0 to p and summation k equal to 0 to p f n of k okay so when we can write this function fn of k here you can see fn of k equal to set function a k b n minus k if n greater than or equal to k n is equal to k and more than k means you can write this function okay if less than k then you can write the function is equal to zero so that this will be changed as summation k equal to 0 to p and summation n equal to 0 to p. So, fn of k is possible only for this function. So, that k equal to 0 to p, right? So, k equal to 0 to p, then summation n equal to 0 to p, fn of k. Now, we can write that fn of k only when n is equal to k to more. So that it will be replaced as n is equal to k to p. Then only the function f n of k you can apply. Okay. n equal to k and more means f n of k is equal to this value. If less means it is 0. So that you can write n equal to k to p. Then you can apply that function. First function. Right. So this is fitted as summation k equal to 0 to p a k. Summation. Here what you have to do is just to put m equal to n minus k from this to this one m equal to n minus k if you put m uh, equal to uh, sorry n equal to k what it happened m equal to k minus k zero similarly n equal to p if you are putting what about m m is equal to p minus k so that's why it came here 0 to p minus k okay 0 to p minus k and p in the place of n minus k you can apply here here clear so summation k equal to 0 to p a k and this one already we have in the beginning itself we have p n is equal to uh, yeah it is uh, given p n equal to summation k equal to 0 to n b k right so that we are using here. So in the place here we have summation m equal to 0 to p minus k p n. So how we can write this one? Uh, see here, here it is n so that b n. Here p minus k so that we can write b p minus k. That's k here, okay? b p minus k. So that from this you can write, from this you can write summation k equal to 0 to p a k and also uh, we 
uh, started at the beginning uh, that is d sorry that is dn is equal to b minus dn right so now d p k minus is equal to b minus b p minus k right so that this is equal to what b minus b p minus k so that it is came here okay so dn is equal to already we written at the very beginning so if this means in the place of n if we write in p minus k what we need here b p minus k so b p minus k is equal to b minus d p minus k clear so that which is equal to you can write which is equal to a p into b uh, this is something but summation k equal to 0 to p into a k into p minus summation k equal to k equal to 0 to infinity a k into t p minus k so this already we have as a n right so here k equal to 0 to p so that a p into p minus here summation k equal to 0 to infinity a k d p minus k is already be taken the beginning is e n so here p value so that e p so that we get here as a p p minus e p so what we get is c p is equal to a p p minus e p okay you can see the next so c p is equal to a p p minus e p we got it what we have to write now c p is converges to a p that we have to find it okay so for that just you have to find it e p converges to zero as p tends to infinity so in we can write since b is equal to summation b n okay so b is equal to summation d n so that d n is equal to because d n is equal to we have b minus b n clear and which is equal to uh, b value is summation d n and b n value is also summation d n so this gives zero so d n converges to zero so we know that converges in this bounded so for this condition modulus d n less than or equal to n now we can write let k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity modulus a n. Now choose n such as n greater than n implies modulus d n less than epsilon divided by 2k. Epsilon divided by 2k. So here we have two values for t. This is 1 and here also we have modulus d n less than or equal to n. So, uh, we can write modulus dn less than epsilon divided by 2. In the value of k, you can substitute this one. Summation n equal to n plus 1. The reason here is n greater than n. So, that n plus 1 to infinity. n plus 1 to infinity modulus a n. Now, what we need to do is take this to this side. So, that summation n equal to n plus 1 to infinity modulus a n. Right? Which is less than epsilon divided by 2 modulus dn and modulus dn is what here less than or equal to n clear now we use the condition p greater than 2n okay we can write modulus ep less than or equal to uh, in the uh, starting we have en uh, is equal to summation k equal to 0 to n a k t n minus k okay summation k equal to 0 to n now here it is uh, we are choosing that p greater than n so if we write e p means summation k equal to 0 to p a k d p minus k so here it is p greater than 2 n right so that this will be split into 2 uh, that is you can see here summation k equal to 0 to n plus n plus 1 to infinity and taking modulus so that less than or equal to k to 0 to n then n plus 1 to infinity now which is less than already we have uh, this value is that is summation mod t p minus k this value is epsilon divided by 2k then summation k equal to 0 to n a k value then plus then d p minus k that value is m that is modulus d n okay modulus d n which is less than or equal to m for all n already we have the condition so using that we are getting here less than m okay this also we have before so check this one 
uh, then uh, from this go what you are going to do is here you can see summation k equal to 0 to n okay so here you can see summation k equal to 0 to infinity so n and infinity infinity is greater so less than or equal to epsilon root by 2k from this n infinity infinity is greater from that modulus a k plus m into this value and this already we proved as k I'm sorry this is equal to k already we took then this value just before we see epsilon root by 2 a so by cancelling we will get epsilon since epsilon greater than 0 um, is arbitrary so modulus e t is tends to 0 as p tends to infinity because p greater than 2 a so p tends to infinity so e p converges to 0 so uh, C P equal to A P B minus E P. So E P converges to 0. From this we can write C P is converges to A P as P tends to infinity. So this is what we need to find. That is Cauchy product of the two series converges to the sum A P. This is about the Merton's theorem. Thank you.